Hello, uh, we are still looking at uh, Excel, uh, that is Microsoft Excel, and uh, we are looking at the various features that can help us as far as our manipulation of data is concerned. Now today I want us to see uh, one of the key, one of the key functions that is so helpful as far as our work is concerned, that is the count function. Now this count function is divided up into four different parts and uh, we are going to look at each of them. Now briefly about the count, it is basically helping us to find out how many or the number of items as far as our spreadsheet is concerned. So I'm going to look at each of them and we see how it works and how best we can use it. In most cases it helps us to easily uh, find out given number of values either in the whole spreadsheet or in a, say, in a specific column or in a specific row as far as our work is concerned. So I'm going to start by looking at the account function. So the account function helps us to count the number of cells that are containing numbers. Okay, Count the number of, let's take an example. If I have my employee column here and I want to find out how many cells are containing numbers here. So the, the, the function will be uh, equals uh, count, then you open your brackets. So you highlight this, you highlight the column you'd like to refer to, or a given set of cells that you'd like to refer to, then you close your brackets. So at this point, after closing your brackets, you press the enter key. So when you press the enter key, our result is one. So when you check through, you realize that it's only one cell which is containing the number. The same applies to this as well. If I use it here, I'll have say equals uh, count. Open your open your brackets. Now when you open your brackets, you come and highlight your cells, and then you close the brackets. So when you close, you press the enter key. So when you press the enter key, you will see the, the number will come here. So meaning there are 11 cells that are containing the numbers. Then we have this count A. Now the count A helps us to count every cell which is containing a character. It can be numbers or text and it excludes any blank cells. So we shall say equals... Uh, count a open your brackets then you highlight your given cells then you close your brackets so uh, when you press the enter key this is what we have so here we have 11 cells that are containing characters meaning it has excluded we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so meaning it has excluded these two cells that are not having anything. So that's how we can use the count A function. Now for the count blank, for it what it does, it basically counts for us cells that are not containing any given content. The ones that don't have whether numbers or text. So it will check out for us. So uh, like for example, if I, if I have my Excel sheet like this, and I would like to know how many blank cells do I have, in my excel so i'll say equals uh, count blank then you open your brackets so here you can highlight this entire work okay so i can highlight this whole entire work then i close my brackets so meaning i want to find out how many cells don't have any characters here so i have three okay and when you re at least can look through we have one two then three, they do not have any given work. So, so by the even if you remove something, it will the, the number will change automatically. So whatever you remove, you see that the our number will be adjusted as soon as. Okay, so uh, the last one I want us to look at is the if, the count if. So the count if helps us to try to generate a number of items based on a certain criteria or based on a certain condition that you could be given or that you have. Um, take an example. 
if you have people's groceries here and they want you, you, you to find out how many people are earning a gross salary of less than one million shillings. So it is now you your role as a person on the system to quickly find out without necessarily counting, uh, looking at the figures one by one. So the function will be equals count if okay open your brackets so once you reach here you come and highlight the cells you want to uh you want the system to look through or to check through okay so what the system check through these characters then you put a comma okay now what do you want you open your quotes okay then we are saying we want so, uh, people whose salaries are less than one million so you put the less than sign and then you put one million okay then remember to close your quotes before you close the brackets so we are telling the system check through all these gross salaries find out how many people are having a gross salary less than one million then you press the enter key so when you check through you realize that the system is bringing for you three people and indeed if you're to confirm no this is little data you can easily confirm but when you have huge amounts of data you can be very sure as long as your formula is correct so here we are sure that three people are the only ones having that amount that is below one million so you can still use it even on even it can this this account if can also help us to bring out to know how many values or how many texts are contained in a certain given one like for example if i want to find out how many people are having fair salaries here how many people are under the range of fair salaries so in such a scenario we shall say equals uh, count if please ensure that you type you type your your, your your function correctly with the correct spelling in case you lose out anything small it will not bring out the correct thing so then you highlight we need all these people here you highlight this reference cell then you press your comma then open your quotes don't forget the quotes when you're using the count if so we need those with the fair salary so just type there fair we type there for your salary so uh in so doing we want to generate we want to easily know how many people are really having uh square salaries without necessarily you counting uh, one by one then uh reaching here you press the enter key so you realize that we have only four people who are in that range of fair salaries so uh, this is the uh, how we can work out with the count function can help us to easily know what what cells are missing out data uh, help us to know how many people are in a certain range how many people do we have in our system thank you so much god bless